International Women's Day celebrates women's struggle for equal rights. It was first celebrated in 1911 in Denmark, and ever since, many countries around the world acknowledge women's contributions to society, politics and the economy every March the 8th. Isabel St. Malo, Vice President of Panama. Panama's Vice President was born on June 27, 1968. She studied international relations and received a master's degree in business administration. While not a member of any political party, she won the support of the Panaminista and Popular Parties. She has served as Vice President since 2014. Roxana Valdetti, Vice President of Guatemala. Born on May 13, 1962, Guatemala's Vice President worked as a teacher and journalist before entering politics. As a member of the Patriotic Party, she served as a deputy in the Guatemalan Congress and was elected Vice President in 2012. Marisol Espinosa, Vice President of Peru. Born on July 31, 1967, Peru's Vice President studied both journalism and law. As a member of the Peruvian Nationalist Party, she has served since 2006 as a Congresswoman representing the Department or State of Piura. She has been Vice President since 2011. Michelle Bachelet, President of Chile. Chile's President was born on September 29, 1951. She graduated from medical school and went on to join the Socialist Party. She first served as President of Chile from 2006 to 2010, then worked as the Executive Director of UN Women from 2010 to 2013, before being re-elected to lead the country. Cristina Fernández, President of Argentina. Born on February 19, 1953, Fernández is a lawyer by training. As a member of the Justicialist Party, she held several public offices before becoming president. She has been in power since 2007, when she was elected for the first time. Dilma Rousseff, President of Brazil. Rousseff was born on December 14, 1947. Politically active since youth, as a member of various opposition groups, she went on to graduate in economics. A member of Brazil's Workers' Party, she served as Minister of Mines and Energy and as Chief of Staff during the presidential term of her predecessor, Lula da Silva. She has held the presidency since 2011.